another video of the Z. Uh, so the other day I picked it up, as you saw, and I uh, covered it as soon as I came home. So today I'm gonna be uh, doing like a damage assessment on it and start taking some of the start taking some of the parts out of it and uh, yeah, see what we're looking at, you know, because I really get to take a look at whatever I just said there. Uh, I didn't really have a good chance to take a look at it while I was at the auction because I had to be quick about it. So uh, yeah, today I'm gonna be looking at it and uh, you know assess exactly what are we gonna be looking at as far as uh, part wise and uh, what kind of damage we got and everything. So yeah, let's get started on it. Where do we really start? You know, uh, obviously bumpers trash, uh, headlights trashed. I thought this headlight was salvageable because these things are expensive. Actually, this is the eight pin from the. 2006-2008 so I thought this was salvageable but I guess it's not because it's broken right here right there so yeah and the housing is broken too so I guess that's gonna have to be changed too obviously the hood as you just saw the other video I got a uh, bumper I might have found something I'm working on picking it up and uh, internally um, there's a lot going on, but obviously the, you know, the front core support, radiator support, all that, and that comes with the bracket for the headlights too. So that's one big piece. I gotta find that, which is, you know, I've been looking the last few days and it's kind of kind of hard. You know, I can't find the junkyards or eBay or anything like that. So I'm trying to avoid buying a new. You know, um, yeah. Other than that, you know, obviously radiator, condenser, all that. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, I'm not sure back here, whoops, uh, not sure back there if anything is damaged or the mounts are, if the mounts are damaged, I don't know if the engine was pushed back from the impact, but it doesn't look like it, it starts, it runs, you know, it doesn't overheat as of right now, because when I, when I brought it home, it did have a coolant in the radiator, so, it all leaked down here when I got home, as you saw in the other video, but yeah, I mean, uh, so far, you know, I'm pretty happy with it, and I'm not too worried about damage, so I'll start picking it apart, and uh, yeah, go from there. Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, so, just a little update right now. Yesterday, my camera died and by the time I already charged it, I put it to charge and everything. Uh, it got dark, so I didn't get started till like five o'clock, so I didn't have a chance to really film a lot of it yesterday. But I mean, as you can imagine, just tear down and everything. So, oh, we did get a lot done though, so I'll show you right now exactly uh, where we left off yesterday after we finished uh, about eight o'clock, so about three hours of work. Uh, so, Here's where we're at right now, you know. We got everything out of it. The whole front end, pretty much. Uh, obviously, radiated condenser, uh, front core support, headlights, everything like that. So, uh, the, you know, the most important part is there was no hidden damage or anything like that. Uh, f frame is pretty straight from uh, at least what the eye can see, you know, uh, other than this part right here, but that's not, a, that's not an issue. Same thing with this side. Uh, yeah, like I said, as far as the eye can see, it looks straight, but, you know, I'm going to bring it somewhere, get it checked out anyways at, at a shop. So, uh, the, the other issue that I found uh, was uh, we had some uh, oil leaking right here. It started, um, 
it actually started right here and he had dripped down all the way down over here uh, I think that might have been pre-existing though I don't think it was because of the accident because um, it does the oil does look kind of thick and everything like that I don't know if you can see right there but it's focusing um, so it's not like uh, fresh oil and I sprayed it with um, I sprayed it with brake brake cleaner yesterday so I sprayed this whole area right here and it doesn't seem like you know it's come back so I'm not seeing any leakage right now so that's a good sign uh, the motor still runs and drives and everything like that so that's also a good sign um, yeah this belt this belt is destroyed as you can see right here I'm not sure this guy's running the the belt like that but so I'll be changing that along with uh, maybe the pulleys and tensioners put some lightweight aluminum stuff maybe uh, we'll see what the plan is but you know as, as of right now I'm still uh, I'm still trying to search for uh, the front core support that's the most important part I have a new hood because this one the old one obviously is destroyed um, I have a new hood new bumper um, and a few other pieces that I have coming so yeah I mean uh, if we can find that uh, front core support I think that's when uh, everything will come into place because without that really you can't really mount anything to the car so uh, but yeah I mean the, the you know the good signs are there is no no damage anywhere so everything is gonna mount right up to the old Maybe this fender right here, maybe it's uh, I don't remember it being like this, but maybe it happened when we pulled everything out or... But that's nothing that some paint can fix, but you know, it's not bent or anything like that. So, you know, that's a something, one less thing to worry about. So, yeah, I mean, all the, you know, radiator hoses and all that, um, I think I'll be putting new ones along with the, at some point with the oil cooler as well. So, I mean... I just I'm still debating whether you know go aftermarket parts OEM parts but I'm leaning more toward aftermarket with the radiator and uh, so I'm looking at my options what options I have for that uh, I know Mishimoto is one of them uh, Koyo and you know there's a few of them but I'm gonna do some research and uh, actually decide which one I'm gonna go with but uh, yeah I mean since it's gonna be a drift car I, I definitely uh, I definitely want to go with something aftermarket for cooling and uh, you know oil cooler maybe too so uh, I mean that's the plan, you know. Nothing. I don't want to go crazy. It is a budget build, so that's why I'm not, you know, buying all OEM new parts and everything. I'm, I'm trying to source as much used parts as I can for it. So, but uh, so far so good. You know, I was pretty pretty happy with the outcome of it. Everything came right out. Uh, it was a mess. It was all tangled up, broken stuff, everything. So it was kind of it was kind of hard to get everything out. But uh, you know, we got it done, and, I, and I'm happy. There's no hidden damage or anything like that. No frame damage. Nothing to worry about. Everything gonna be bolted on. So. Yeah, I mean, uh, I just wanted to, uh, you know, uh, touch base on, because uh, yesterday I kind of just left off, you know, pretty much like half hour after we started, I, you know, my, my camera died, so I couldn't film anything, so, um, yeah, that's uh, that's how she sits now, uh, which I'm pretty happy about, uh, so, I, oh, yeah, I also, um, I lifted the car up, I removed the, the wheels and everything, oh, you can't really see nothing now, but, I removed the wheels yesterday uh, to get underneath here and get the headlights out, and uh, I was pretty surprised. There was because I hadn't, I haven't put this on a lift yet, so I was pretty surprised. There was no rust, nothing, no rot, no rust underneath. It was crystal clear. So whoever owned this, because uh, it's a two-owner car, the last owner had about a year, and the guy before that was the original owner. So he must have garaged it the whole time because there was no rust. The suspension literally looks still brand new and everything like that. So I'm pretty happy about that as well. So not the interior, make it look nice and everything like that. So. Yeah, that's gonna be the next video so uh yeah in a couple of days i'll see you guys then and uh thanks for watching and uh, if you're enjoying the content there's gonna be a lot of content about this and hopefully i can get started in the 280z as well but i'm mainly focused on this right now so uh if you guys you know want to stay updated and everything uh subscribe that helps a lot uh give it a like comment whatever you know if you suggest any parts or what you know what i should go with as far as rebuilding this uh yeah comment comment down below and uh you know, I'll read them and uh, go from there. But yeah, appreciate you guys watching. I'll uh, see you next time.